Hey friends, it's been a while since I've got on here and showed you the garden. The last few clips I gave you were from a while ago. So let's take a look around. We've done a lot of work. First, you can see that we've added some beds. You guys, I think, saw those uh, getting added, but some of them have got dirt in them. Almost all of them, we've got, I think, three or four at the end, we still got to fill in, but they've got dirt. We've got the trellises up. Um, we have a, a, a pergola, the gazebo thing that we are working on, getting set up there in the middle for a seating area. I'll go over and show you guys all this fun stuff, but it's pretty exciting. Also, our existing old garden is got lots of things growing that I will take you on a walk through. All right, let's start at the beginning here. We have a bunch of peas that are growing. Remember, I thought they all disappeared, but there they are, peas. More peas, more peas, more peas. Lots of peas I'm pretty excited about. And then we've got some butter crunch lettuce here couple rolls I don't like it in the mulch it's hard for the seeds to pop up but that's just kind of what happened so I probably won't do that again probably mix the mulch in this here is some romaine need to thin out and get a little bigger here are all our potatoes hey looky you guys are seeing for the first time with me look the potatoes are popping through how exciting is that Yay, potatoes. Look at that, there they go. They just popped through today. It's amazing how fast things grow. So those are our potatoes. Whoa, I totally missed this right here. I think those are some of the purple ones maybe. So cool. Over here we've got um, thyme coming back, looking beautiful. Harvest some of that soon. I put a couple cabbages over here. They're looking great. I need to get them covered so that those stinking cabbage moths don't get to them. And then here our strawberries are thriving. Lots and lots of blooms. I'm going to be setting up some slug traps here. Hopefully I'll do a video of that. We had some slugs eating our strawberries last year. So I'm going to kind of be a little preventive about that. So the new runners down here, I don't see any blossoms just yet except for a few there in the back. So I'm hoping that they will blossom too. Over here is our struggling broccoli. Oh, the cold got to the broccoli, most of it, but look at that guy. That guy's doing good. I think that will be our one real thriving broccoli. I've got a few others, but I don't think they're gonna make it. They're a little tiny. They were too small for the cold. That guy over there, he might make it through. So I might have two, we'll see. And then what I went ahead and did is I planted the rest of our potatoes that we had. I sprinkled them in here because I knew I lost those broccolis. Those are a little later, so I don't expect them to be coming up maybe, you know, a few days or a week behind. I have not planted anything in this bed. Check out this trellis. We found it on the side of the road. Score. Got to figure out what I'm going to do on that. These onions are just uh, from the compost or seeded from last year. Uh, I might let that big one go to seed just to see what happens. And then our onions, our hundreds of onions are thriving, doing well. Look at all those. Over here, I planted a mixture of flowers. I don't suspect them coming up just yet. We're going to be having a cold snap this week. We're going to get down in the 30s overnight, and I think it's just going to be 40s and 50s during the day. So kind of going to slow down on some stuff out here, um, kind of wait for that week to pass, and then we'll get back to planting. So I don't expect these flowers to pop up. Um, I don't think the soil is going to stay warm enough for them. It's kind of taking a risk. We'll see if they pop up here after the cold snap, hopefully. 
Looky here, we got our peas, and look at these guys. They've already reached for the trellises. So stoked about that. And then here's some phlox I transplanted. My son accidentally pulled it out, so I was like, well, let's not let it go to waste. So I put it here. Um, here's some more peas. I went in and filled in the holes with some more of these peas, so they might be popping up a little later. Again, more flowers. And look at these beauties. Zoom in on these. Those are our radishes. Got two full beds of radishes, and that second bed is all seeds that we harvested from our own radishes last year. So I think that's super cool. I'm gonna let some of these go to seed this year. These are pink beauties. The ones from last year were a mixture, so I'm not sure what's what. So I'm probably gonna harvest all of those, but I'm gonna let some of these pink beauties go to seed so that I know what seeds that I have. But look at these, some of these, you can already see them popping up. See right there, right there. They are looking pretty. Popping up there. Oh, look at this one here. Get that nice pink color. Those are gonna be fabulous. Here I got our mustard greens and our collards. I went ahead and covered them with a bug cloth since I've been seeing cabbage moths and I've already seen a few bites on them. But let me see if I can sneak in and show you these guys. They're doing really good. So check that out. Look how good they're doing. That one's probably the littlest. Here's another one. Another one, all that green down there, that is our mustard greens growing. Mix these together. I'm planning on learning how to make some yummy greens. I'm hoping to learn how to make some uh, really good greens. So I've got collard greens, mustard greens, got turnip greens. I've been making them, but I haven't mastered it. So I'm hoping to do some really, really good mixed greens. So if you got some tips or some recipes, to send them my way, because that's something I want to do this year, see if we can master and make really yummy. Um, let's see what else we got. Here's the turnip greens. And I've also got some different types of turnips here. I've got a couple cabbages that have made it. I think they're gonna be all right. So a purple cabbage there and a purple cabbage there. We'll see if they have enough time to grow into anything. And then check this out, my asparagus. I need to go ahead and harvest a couple of those. I've been waiting on those for several years. I can actually show you guys the video where I planted these. I uh, never published it, but I have a video of me planting these guys several years ago. Then we've got some more cabbages here. Let me get onto the dogs. Hey, both of you, out, out. I'm having to retrain the doggies not to get in the bed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Charlie, no, no, no. He thought I was playing with them earlier when I was telling him to get out. But where the doggies were laying is carrots. Uh, see here? These are carrots starting to pop up. Got them coming up. These are Dan Danber carrots. There's a, a whole bunch here. They're really hard to see right now, but they are popping up. Going back over here to the asparagus. Got some more cabbages here. These are the golden cabbage. They're supposed to be um, a more heat tolerant. They're from Baker's Creek. They're heirloom. I've got three of those that are doing something. You guys probably remember I left all of them out, my good ones, and they froze. I know I keep bringing it up, but it's so sad. So sad. <sighs> so I got peas here. I went in and filled in the holes here too. So got some more peas growing. And check this out, I just saw this. These are potatoes I planted in a container just to see how they would do. We will see, but check these out. These are sprouting too. See, look at that. This guy's coming up and it looks like right here and right here, some potatoes coming. Once those pop up, I'm gonna fill this in with more dirt and soil. I won't do that to those down there because I want to try them just as is. But these ones I'm going to fill and do that method of filling up as they sprout until I can't fill up this container anymore. So this container too, it has holes 
for drainage along the sides and I also made bigger holes on the bottom. I'm hoping that we don't have any rot issue. Um, I hope there's enough drainage, but we will see. All right, now here is the new garden beds. Look at all of those. So exciting. So you can see here, we haven't got these filled with dirt yet. We're gonna put mulch in these paths. Um, we've got them all lined. I can't wait to get the mulch in. So a couple more arches here. This one's started filling, but not these ones are full. And this big mamma jamma here. We are hoping to create a little seating area under here. The goal with this is to kind of have a retreat area in the garden. So we're gonna make it shaded, put some solar lighting in there, some chairs, seating where you can just come and relax and uh, enjoy the garden, enjoy the outdoors and a nice little area. So, so we also got our wisteria growing here. I don't know if it's going to bloom yet this year or not. They say it takes three to five years. I can't remember if it's the second or third year on it. We will see, but the, the leaves still look really pretty. I'm hoping maybe to run something where it can trellis up on here possibly, but I'm not 100% on that just yet. But yeah, there's the rest of the garden. Let me come out here so you guys can see it in its full glory. It's really hard to get like a good picture of all of it just because it's so massive now. <laughs> we will attempt. So here it is. Once we get the trailer out of the way, I guess we'll be able to take it in a little bit more. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now one thing I also wanted to share with you guys about all of this is we're going to be installing a drip irrigation system on this. It'll be our first time really doing that. We tried soaker hoses uh, last year. It was didn't work the greatest. So we're going to be doing a drip irrigation system. We kind of got all of our sketches and our plans set out. We're going to try that out. Um, it'll make it easy with the garden. It's all going to be set up on timers so it will water itself on its own. Um, and Hopefully that will make the garden pretty easier because that's my biggest concern with such a large garden. Like the harvesting, the weeding, all that stuff is pretty simple for me to maintain, but the hardest part for me has been watering because it's very time consuming if you're watering by hand. So hopefully that will make that part of the garden pretty simplistic. I almost forgot, I want to show you guys our berry beds and what we're doing over here in the berry bed. All right. So we've got this trellis cut. We cut this cattle panel. Matt cut it down for me and his best friend Warren helped. We're going to raise this up and stake it in here and kind of get this blackberry bush tamed down a little bit. Um, and this raspberry bush here. I am really hoping to focus on this berry bed and get it thriving. It hasn't really been successful. Like we've had fruit, but it's been very small amounts and birds have gotten to it so I really want to put a lot of energy into this to get it get it thriving getting some real produce from it this year Can you see this blackberry bush is doing great it's got all this new growth on it so I'm gonna come in and do some pruning prune this prune all of this down get all this stuff that's not producing cut away and kind of get these going through the vine, the trellis here Here's a raspberry bush, it's starting to green up. Same thing, need to come in and trim up. Also, I moved some of our strawberries over here, some of the runners. So we've got a strawberry here, here, down there, and oh, there were Charlie's in the garden. I've got, I think, four more plants over there, hoping to establish another strawberry bed. So our blueberry bushes are coming back. Again, I need to do some pruning. I'm going to prune away all the stuff that's no longer producing. It looks like we're only going to have really one thriving piece from here. This one looks like it's doing really good. It's got a lot of leaves, a lot of foliage. Again, I need to come in and do some cutting away. I don't know if you guys, many of you saw this, we redid these beds last year. Put in the edging, put in some rock here, some mulch and edging, really cleaned them up a lot. Looky here, look at here. Look at all those little buds. 
So this is another blueberry bush. This fig is not coming back. We ha I don't think it is. We had this happen with some we planted at our old house. I don't know if I need to cover it or what, but you feel a little, little bit of greenness in there, but I just don't know. I don't know. I need to do some research on that. Uh, here is a daffodil I planted here. The head fell off. <laughs> but here we've got this trellis in here. I'm going to train this raspberry bush to go that way. It's going the wrong direction right now, but work on that. Got strawberries. Here, I think this is boysenberry, so it has this here. I think I need to trim some of this off, but some of it's greening up, so I'm going to kind of see what comes back. Like, I got some growth here and here. But the rest of it, I don't see any new growth, so I'm kind of watching and seeing. Got some leaves there. Get that trained. So yeah, that's our berry beds. Working on those. All right, so that's the garden as is. Um, I'm gonna be updating you, doing more and more tours to show you around and show you our progress. But that's where we're at right now, and we will keep you updated if you're interested. Um, and you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you kind of see what's going on. Also, um, we have a, a group on Facebook called Growing Gardener. We'd love for you to join that. And I'm Crystal Kime. We'll see you guys later. Bye.